Indian Navy's fast attack craft INS Cabra has arrived at Colombo port and handed over essential spares and stores meant for the Sri Lankan Navy and Sri Lankan Air Force. Israel has pitched to promote tourism in Luxordweep Islands and has announced that it is ready to start the desalination program in the islands. The older Jaguar Darren 1 and Darren 2 squadrons will be the first to be replaced with the additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A jets that are slated for induction from 2028 onwards. Kalyani Strategic Systems has completed the acquisition of majority stake in the Ukrainian firm Zoria Mash project, which positions India to overcome supply chain disruptions and build indigenous capabilities for vital gas turbine engines. The RDO has released a request for proposal for the identification of development come production partner for smart anti-airfield weapon Mark II. The RDO has issued an expression of interest seeking a development come production partner for the mission system for six upgraded Netra Mark I-May program. Indian Army is procuring 2,500 thermal imager-based driver night sight for BMP-2 vehicles. Indian Coast Guard and Steel Authority of India have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the Supply of Indigenous Marine Grade Steel. During the upcoming meeting of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and his British counterpart, British officials will brief the Indian delegation on the joint development of 110 kN engine, as well as Tempest 6th generation fighter jet. UK Italy and Japan have already solidified their commitment to join the Tempest program, and all the foreign partners have shown interest that India should be a part of it. Rolls-Royce has promised to deliver a fully operational engine with full technology transfer and intellectual property rights transfer within 10 years, that will expedite the AMCA program. British firm Rolls-Royce has announced, that it has proposed to co-develop a clean slate new engine for India's AMCA program, that will outpace existing fifth-generation fighter engines. Unlike the American General Electric, the British government has already received export license from the UK government for the engine technology transfer to India with intellectual property rights. Rolls-Royce has also offered export rights for the engine, that will allow India to tap into the global market. Hyderabad-based Vipa Armour India Private Limited and DRDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment have unveiled the first operational prototype of their 7.62x51mm calibre rifle named Ugram. The rifle was designed based on the general staff qualitative requirements of the Indian Army. It weighs less than 4 kilograms and has an effective range of 500 meters. The configuration of the rifle is comparable to the latest AK and AR type rifles, and it will soon start internal tests, followed by acceptance trials with 15 rifles. Today's top 3 comments.